Hi everybody, today I'll be doing a tutorial on how to make alpha friendship bracelets, just basic two color alphas. And I just like to give a disclaimer that if I have trouble talking in this video, um, it's just because I just got braces today. So yeah, braces, fun, right? Anyway, like I said, this will be a tutorial on alpha friendship bracelets. Now for any two color alpha, for the base strings, which are these strings here, the orange ones that I have, um, it will vary on the pattern you are doing for how long they need to be. Um, if you're just doing a name in the middle of your bracelet, um, I don't have one with me right now, but let's say your bracelet was, I don't know this long and the center of your bracelet was right here and this is where the name was these would probably only need to be about 30 inches but if you were doing a bracelet where the base strings were being used all throughout the bracelet they'd want to be at least 65 inches and the weaving strand and if you don't understand what either of these mean don't worry um, I'll cover those in the video but the weaving strand should be as long as it possibly can with you being able to work with it comfortably because this strand is what's weaving back and forth across your bracelet. Now if I can get a piece of paper, bump the tripod a little bit there, if I can get a piece of paper I can show you what is going to be happening during this bracelet. Okay, so, ah, but this pen should work. So, during the making of an alpha bracelet, so these are our base strands, which are our background strands. And here's our little knot up here. And here's our weaving strand. Now, do I have a different color I can use? No, I do not. So. This is our weaving strand, this one out here. Our weaving strand is going to be making knots all on all of these strings going back this way. And it's going to come around this way and make knots again. And come around and do it again. And come around. And it's just going to keep doing this, weaving back and forth. Even when you're making knots with the base strings, your weaving strand will constantly be going like this throughout your bracelet, just back and forth. And in alphas, it's important to know that forward knots go this way, and backward knots go this way. So now that we got that out of the way, just to give you an idea of what's going to be happening, we can get to the actual tutorial part. So, with an alpha, you always want to start by doing some filler rows at the beginning. Because if you can see up here, yeah, they're all bunched together. And what is that going to do? It's going to make our bracelet look like a rainbow at the top. And we don't want that. So, what are we going to do? We're going to do some filler rows. And that's just going to be when we're using our weaving strand, which in my case is my yellow one and doing forward knots across the row, coming back and doing backward knots. And when I do alphas, I generally do them much looser than I do um, with regular bracelets, just because alphas, they can get really stiff if you do them at the same tension as regular bracelets. So generally, I do them a lot looser. And you'll see that I don't even pull the knot up very quickly or up to the top and you can see that and I made my base strings too short for me to comfortably work with but that's okay but and then I tighten up on my second knot oh my gosh should have made these much longer but that's besides the point as you can see I'm doing them a lot looser than I might have before on my other friendship bracelet videos, if you've seen them. You'll know that I go much faster 
and they are much tighter and I go all the way up to my clipboard but I'm not gonna with this and don't worry if yours are not going in a straight line as you can see mine are not and I'll show you how to fix this in a minute but like I said we're just doing forward knots across all of our strings and no matter how many um, bass strings you have you're always gonna start off by doing a full row of forward knots. Now if you want to, if you're more comfortable with backward knots, you can start on on a backward knot row, but I find that forward knot rows are much easier. Now if your knots are slanted like mine were, if you did them loose enough, you should be able to just push them right back up and straighten them out like that. And they'll be nice and straight. And this way, you also don't have to do very many filler rows. And I like to do two or three filler rows. I'll probably just go with two, since I don't think you guys want to watch me just do a bunch of knots. But now we're on a backward row, because we just did a forward row, and we're just doing backward knots all the way across. Okay. And I have six bass strings. So, however many, um, whatever knot I'm doing for that row, there's going to be six of them. Or at least when I'm just doing it with the weaving strand. Okay, so, I've done four. This will be five. And this will be six. You have to be careful if you're doing them loosely though, you have to continually do them loosely because if you just saw my thread, I did a little bit tighter on accident and so it pulled it up on this side, which would cause a rainbow if you had one side tighter than the other. It would cause it to pull up on this side and kind of get all weird and wiggly. So, but we have done two rows, and this is straight enough to work with. If you really wanted to, if yours were this straight, you could do another row, but I'm not going to. So, I'm going to just show you how to do a smiley face, which is a pretty easy thing to do. You can pretty much do that with any pattern. Um, so, my smiley face is going to have one forward knot, one backward knot, two forward knots, one backward knot, and one forward knot. Now I'll just draw you a picture of what this pattern will look like. Give you an idea. So, we're on the first row of our pattern here, and then we're gonna have Four more. So, six strings. Oh, I'm off cam. Six strings means there's six columns in any pattern. The number of columns is the number of base strings. So, there's one, two, that was bad, two, three, four, five, six columns for our six base strings. Now, and you can use this method to make any kind of alpha pattern you want. Our pattern is going to have eyes, like that, and a row in between. And then, top of the mouth. And then, the bottom of the mouth. And then, a separation row between patterns. You don't really want to ever not have this separation row, because otherwise... You'd start the eyes right underneath the mouth, and then it would look kind of funny. But, so, our first row is a forward row. So that means this is going to be a forward knot, this is going to be a forward knot, this is going to be a forward knot, and this is going to be a forward knot. Because the blank spaces are what are our spaces we're using our weaving strand. 
the colored in spaces are when we're using our base strings. So, the pattern says to do a forward knot in the beginning, like that. And then we're going to use our bass string. And now some people say to not use your bass strings tightly. I like to actually do a pretty tight um, knot with my bass strings when I'm doing them. Because I find that that leaves the least amount. Okay, hold on. I'm getting too fast, I think. Okay. So with our bass strings... We're doing a backward knot with our bass strings because it's a forward row. So our weaving strand, like we said, still has to be moving this way. And if we do a forward knot, that's just going to put this string here in the same place and leave this here. And so it's just going to be stuck in this one spot. So we're going to do a backward knot. And like I said, I like to do mine tighter than I've seen most people do them because I find that if you do it loosely, if you can see, there's a little bit of string hanging down there, and I don't like how that looks. So I pull mine probably tighter than most people, and the way that that works without most people's problem is it locks down, is if you can see what I'm making my knot, is I'm pulling my weaving strand to the right. Now you generally do not want to do that when you're making your knots. But in alpha bracelets, I tend to do that just because I find that that makes it much easier to have a tight knot with no pull down. And I'll show you what this pattern looks like once we complete it. And you'll see there's going to be no pull down, which is when... So, let's say this is just a row, a filler row that we had before our pattern. And now this is where we start our pattern. And this is just a weaving strand knot. And this is a base strand knot. Pull down is when you have a little bit of string showing right there. And so we'd have another one, and it gradually gets worse as the row goes on. Because you've now locked this space in there, and it's very difficult to get that space out. And so at some point, it just starts putting pull down on your whole bracelet. And that's no good. We don't want that. And that, I find that um, it's much trickier to do them loosely and not get pulled down than to do them tightly and not get pulled down. When you're doing them tightly, um, it's only the first part of the knot that you need to do tightly. And as long as you just pull this to the side a little bit, it's not gonna pull down very much. But if you do it loosely and you do it wrong, I will give an example in this bracelet. So actually not all of the knots are gonna be perfect. But in our smile face pattern, after this backward knot, there's two forward knots, just saying. So you don't get confused with what I'm doing. And by the way, if you already know how to do forward knots and backward knots, that's great. But if you don't, um, I've made videos on how to do the forward and backward and forward, backward and backward forward knots. So go check out that video if you don't know what I'm talking about when I say forward and backward. But I'm going to show you what happens when you do your knot incorrectly and you get pulled down. If you just... Low battery, I don't care. If you just pull up tightly without pulling to the side and then make your second knot, if you see that big gap right there, that big gap where the string is hanging down, that's pull down. And we don't want that. And if you see, as I go to make my weaving strand knot, it's very difficult to correct that and not have it look weird. So, there's going to be some mess-ups in this pattern, just so you guys can see what it looks like when you're doing it wrong and when you're doing it right next to each other. So, that was our first row. And this isn't really a pattern bracelet. So, if you guys aren't really getting the pattern, 
that's totally fine. What I liked to do when I started making alpha bracelets was just kind of mess around, you know. Tie a bunch of strings together with a weaving strand, and then just kind of do a couple filler rows, and then just kind of practice, because, let's face it, your perfect, your first alpha bracelets, they're not going to turn out perfect. Mine didn't. I got frustrated and stopped making them for a good year before I tried making them again. Just, just with these bracelets, with any of them, if they don't look perfect, you know, it's fine. It's the practice. If you make a few that don't look perfect, you're going to end up making some that do. So, don't freak out if your bracelet doesn't look perfect. Just go with it. My next row is just all backward knots. So, just going to do those. There's going to be six of them. So that's three of them. And you often in this video will probably see me just push up my rows after each row of just filler rows because me doing them loosely, as you can see here, it's leaving some orange gaps. And we don't want that. So I just push them up. Like that. And now we're going to do a row that's identical to this top one. Which just means one... F Blah. I knew I would have trouble sp speaking. Oh my gosh. One forward knot, one backward knot, two forward knots, one backward knot, one forward knot. If you caught that. But like I said, this isn't really a video on a pattern. It's really a video on teaching you guys the basics of alpha bracelets. And alphas, once you get the hang of them... They're really fun, because you can do a lot more with alphas, like pictures especially, than you can with regular bracelets. Though alphas do take a long time, so if you don't have a lot of patience, alphas might not be the thing for you. And then two forward knots, so on and so forth, la la la. That's not a forward knot. This is a backward knot. Gotta catch those. And that's another thing with alphas. Gotta be able to count. I mean, it's just common sense. I mean, alphas have a lot of... Counting. Because you have to count the knots. The knots aren't difficult. It's the counting. That is really the challenge. And sometimes you mess up and you don't see it. And then you have to go... If you're a perfectionist, you go all the way back, which I used to do, but then I realized it's not worth it. It's really not. Because it takes forever to undo those knots, especially if you're a couple rows back and you have a wide bracelet, like 20 strings, and you messed up a few rows back. I used to go back through all those little knots and fix that one thing so it looked exactly like the pattern. But there's really no point in my mind in doing that, so... You know, if you want, you can do that, but I generally don't. Our next row is going to finish our smiley face. So it's two backward knots, two forward knots, And I'm pretty sure I might have already said this, but the way I do my um, alpha knots, you don't want to do them that way when you're making your regular bracelets, or you're pulling both kind of like you're tying your shoes, which isn't exactly what I do, but it's kind of, that's pretty close to what I do. You really don't want to do that in regular bracelets because it will... Um, make holes in your bracelets, plain and simple. So, don't do it this way, where the orange knots are. Don't do them that way on regular bracelets. 
they'll get messed up. And then our separation row. And if this video is too fast paced, and if you guys didn't understand it, just comment down below if you want me to make a new one that's more understandable or goes more in depth about something that you didn't quite understand. Just tell me. I mean, it's summertime, and I know I haven't made a video in forever, and I know I've been really bad at that. But just tell me. Just, just tell me. I will make a new one, and really sorry for the inconsistency. I'm probably going to become inconsistent again, it's just that I have too many things to do, and it becomes too much. So yeah, there's our separation row, and this is our finished alpha pattern. A new smiley face. And that's where the problem went wrong. You know, it's not horrible looking. I mean, yeah, it's got a little bit of a gap, a little bit of an orange gap, but you know, if it happens, it's hap it happens. So, that's totally fine. But, an alpha smiley face. Now, I would love it if you guys subscribed. And if you want to see some of the bracelets I'm making currently, you can follow me on Instagram. And yeah, bye. Thanks for watching.